Hey guys, so I'm running out of daylight, so I'm just gonna try to speed up the process. Today we're going to be repotting some orchids. Now, I guess one orchid that my adorable cute boyfriend got me is this beautiful, huge orchid, and I love it so much. It is in bloom, and I did some research, and it is okay to repot your orchid if it's in bloom. Well, it's not really that okay, but it's acceptable if you think it's crucial, and and I also did some research in saying that as soon as you buy the orchid, it's like good and like almost essential to repot your orchid if you can as soon as possible. So I'm gonna repot one of my orchids and also have one poor orchid that was not doing so good. And I ended up going to the store as you guys can see. It's this really, really sad thing. I'm not sure if it's gonna make it, but I'm not gonna give up on it. I'm gonna keep pushing and try my best. I just went to the store. Let me place you guys somewhere. I just went to, um, to Lowe's and I ended up buying this mix is called the orchid mix it's the only thing that i saw at lowe's and honestly guys i think it's pretty good i got this girly and then i'm gonna have the link down below if i can find it on amazon so you guys can go and trade out if you guys want to and check it out and then after that i ended up buying orchid containers because i know that orchids you know it's not you're not supposed to be placing them in like regular uh ceramic or like a terracotta pot or a plastic pot they need like a good amount of drainage or airflow so i went to the store this is why i don't like orchids i honestly just i don't like orchids at all as you guys can tell i almost killed mine but my boyfriend got it for me and i want to take care of it because it's special to me because you know he got it for me and i don't want to kill it so i'm gonna try my best to like take care of it and keep it happy so i bought a specific pot for this beautiful orchid surprisingly it was really really cheap i thought it was going to be really expensive it was like seven something so i ended up getting two one for the one that my boyfriend got me and the other one for the poor orchid that i'm gonna try to save and like look after so yeah we're gonna do the repotting i did read that supposedly if you repot your orchids when you bought it when it's in bloom in the store it might speed up the process of the blooms falling off or it might like drop all of its blooms but like i said i'd rather have my orchid beyond healthy and like really good potty mix and a better like pot and just be happy than like you know keep its blooms if i had to pick i'd rather have my orchid happy than having blooms so we're gonna repot it already so my adorable kid is going to be joining us her name is nico by the way Check the mix close my computer let's get the roots so from the videos that i've been seeing and the research that i've been doing the way to tell like when, when you repot your orchid you're supposed to be checking on the roots and i already did on this one we're gonna check on the other one and the way to check if it's healthy even like green roots can rot like they might look healthy but in reality they're not so the way you check is you squeeze the roots and if it's not squishy then it means it's healthy and if it's squishy then it means you need to cut it off because it's gonna probably rot your entire orchid and we don't want to do that so i already ended up cutting a lot of the roots a lot of the damaged leaves I ended up placing it in hydrogen peroxide to like disinfect it and like just remove all the bad stuff from the orchid and yeah my boyfriend is so sweet like this orchid is huge and i'm so thinking about it if i want to like cut it i really really don't want to cut it this is the mix that it's on and we're gonna go and remove it it's really really hard to like film it while like doing this and holding it because like oh my god Okay. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. I kind of want to cut off the flowers. It's really, really heavy. By the way, I'm bottom bottering some plants. <laughs> okay, so this is what we have. This is the pot that it was in. This is the new pot it's going to be in inside on. So it's kind of bigger. The roots look really, really good. They don't look that bad. Oh, this one is not okay.
cut off the flower. It's really, really sad. I do not want to cut it, and I'm pretty sure I don't have to, but it's really big, and it's kind of hard to, like, um, do what I, what I have to do. Oh, my God. It was so pretty, though. Alrighty, I'll be back. I'm gonna go and rinse the roots. Now we're gonna add the new mix. New new pot. You guys, I am new in the orchid world, so don't be taking notes on what I'm doing. Because I'm pretty sure I'm doing something incorrectly. experts cringing at, at what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm learning, I'm learning. Oh my I feel like I did it incorrectly. I kinda wanna, I'm gonna start over. Oh no, I did it good. It's okay then. Okay, I'm gonna place it like this. That's a lot easier.
I know I'm not supposed to be pulling on the leaves way too hard because they're very delicate and they can rip off. I promise I'm not doing it so hard or like pulling it really hard. Just doing a little bit to make sure there's like a little bit of the part of mix between the roots. Well, through the roots. Honestly, that looks really good. Yay. What do you guys? So this was the first orchid. My first ever orchid repotting. Now let's do the small one. Look how small it is. <clears throat> I'm not gonna give up on you. I'm also aware that they like to have their a little bit of like light hitting on the roots, like indirect light, because they can photosynthesize through their roots. So that's really cool. All right, that's literally it, you guys. Okie dokie, I'm gonna go and water them and place them with the grill lights, and that is it. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.